Hello, welcome to Straw Family Farm, take two. I'm Christy. Today in the chapel we have Mark 10, 25. It is easier for a camel to go through the eye of a needle than a rich man to enter the kingdom of heaven. So, yeah. Okay, where to begin? So, all right, let's just get all the off the hooks or off the mannequins. And I have my list here. So, uh, the shirt for the lady and the pillows are done and out of here. And good news, I should be more positive as they are, you know, I got paid for both. So as it turns out, the lady wrote down her number wrong. So when I delivered the pillows, I said, Hey, your friend, so-and-so has got her shirt here and it says it's disconnected. She goes, what? She looked in her phone. She goes, that's because she gave you the wrong number. So got that. And then she, the lady with the shirt actually brought me another shirt. And so I have made enough with those two projects by the grace of God to pay for roommates Christmas. So yeah, I told the kids, I said, well, since I actually did get paid, I will just pay for that Christmas and you don't have to worry about, you know, doing the mon monetary thing. And uh, all you have to do is your part of the, you know, like RJ still has to get it here and stuff. So, um, yeah, so those are out of here and done. I have started something else. Ah. Oh, I'm so sorry. So the other lady gave me another shirt to alter. It was super easy. It was done in like 10 minutes not even a big deal. Uh, so I don't know if I want to turn the camera on. Let me see if I can see that. Okay. So, you know, I'm working on stash busting. Okay. I, I'm not going to have a lot of material in the um, tiny house. So I've been trying to use it up. I shared a lot with my daughter. Well, um, I have decided, so RJ, one of his things for his birthday is we got him a bed frame and an actual bed. He was still sleeping on a pull, pull out sofa or a love seat that he got when he was like 12. Yeah. So, um, roommate and I had some used mattresses in another room and I went and bought him a frame. And so that is part of his Christmas and his birthday as well. But now he needs a quilt. He went and he bought some sheets for it. And uh, so I have decided that I am going to make a quilt. And believe it or not, I it's going to be 13 rows. So uh, I used the materials that I had. So let me see if I can grab these real quick. And I already have some of them cut, so, okay, I have quite a few of them cut. Not, not near enough, because it's going to be quite a few that I need. But what I did was, for starters, okay, so I should have been more prepared. I started out with uh, 8 by 8 square. And because my remnants were small, I could only get, and I found 13 fabrics that I could get an eight by eight square out of. So this fabric right here, and I wanted them all to be about RJ. So these are all things that him and I had made, that him and I have picked out. Um, so I got as many eight by eights as I could, and I got 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. Okay, so I am making two pillowcases and uh, what do you call it? Um, the quilt. And I'm calling it my ugly quilt. All I can think of is the coat of many colors, you know, from the Bible, Jacob. Anyway, so I'll show you some of the fabrics that I came up with. That one is the fish. That was, that was the, um, one that RJ used for um, his 
Tooth Fairy pouch. And this one, he went through that cow thing, if you remember. And that was his Christmas one. Uh, I think I made him some pajamas out of that. And then he had this one. It had bucking and, you know, it was just Western. Uh, I didn't find any of the dollar sign. I must have used it all. But I did find the cookie one. He, you know, really liked that one. And then um, found this one. And I found this one. If you remember the bags, a lot of them, RJ helped me pick them out. So there's a cow. Matter of fact, I still have a bag made out of this. Um, it never sold, so I just kept it and used it. We have chickens. Um, oh, there's that one. That's sheep with little hearts, red checked hearts. And then we have that one. So, yeah, we have all of those, and I have done some print, oh, and let me see here, there is this one, not all of them have the same prints, because I don't have enough um, of all the materials, so what I've done is I've got 14 printed ones, and then I will work in the extras because right now I have these and I have some that are extras and I will put in, I'm at 14 prints, but I'm hoping to be able to do 16 or 17 um, because each row is 23 across uh, and that leaves the big I have it worked out here. Let me see here. So, yeah, got the print, the print. I had a better picture of it, but I had to draw now. But let me see. I don't know where it went. I don't know where it went, but if you look, I have random, um, the eight squares there. Whoops. There. Everything's backwards in the camera. So there. There, 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 and up there. Um, but they're kind of going to be random with the eight. And I'm going to make each row uh, across. So literally, it will be eight inch squares made with four inch um, material. So, uh, yeah. I've got it planned out and I am going to try and use some more um, of the prints and I will get probably 16 or 17 prints in each row because remember for one row because I'm doing the eight inch square it'll be two rows of four inch and then I will have the solids in there. Um, I have that whole thing of it and so yeah I'm just going to go to cutting it up and making him an egg, ugly quilt as I call it. And I've got my rows planned out right now with 14 prints and how each one will go. And you can see I've been kind of planning and prints and that way it, I don't know, maybe I'm putting too much effort into it. Who knows? But anyway, I am working on that and I am going to get all the prints done and I'm hoping by Christmas, if I don't have the whole thing done, I want to at least have the topper done or at least have the 13 rows done. But, you know, if I get 13 rows done, it's just zipping them up on the machine, so I'll probably put them together. And then the pillowcases, um, I'm just going to do them and then have the back flaps fold over. They'll just be square. So, yeah, it is what it is. So I've been working on that. Uh, this weekend I was kind of in a funk, so... I didn't do a whole lot. I literally slept until noon, which is something, if you know me, I haven't done that ever since I, you know, was a kid, I guess. High school, I don't know. I, I never remember sleeping until noon. But I just, um, been in a funk. So I went ahead and wanted to work on something for myself. So I started the sweater 
the, the sleeve shawl, whatever you want to call it. And I have this far. I divided the gray in half. And I'm working on it. I have this much left. If the whole thing ends up being gray, then, I mean gray and yellow, then so be it. That's what it looks like right now. I'm just holding the two together. Uh, 14 inches is the um, sleeves according to her. But I'm just going to put them up all the way, you know, to where I want them. And it's coming along quite nicely. So I've got this one. And I just measured it and made sure that it fit nice. Not too snug, but not taut. I, I don't want it tight, but pretty much just, um, I'm not as far on this sleeve, and they will meet in the middle, and I probably will have some kind of seam up the back, but I don't mind. Um, it is what it is, you know? You know how that goes. My, uh, my goal was to make these and then seam the uh, solid part where the sleeves meet so that it's not so obvious. Um, yeah, I've got quite a bit of gray. I have looked and I may have gray left over. The problem is, is that each one of these skeins is 500 yards. And it said it took like 1,200 yards to do this. And I'm holding two together. Or it took 600. Anyway, I was supposed to have enough. And I think I'm going to have too much. I really do. I think I'm going to have too much of the gray. I'm just going to go up to where I want my sleeves to be. So that, you know, I'm literally thinking I want them here. But we'll see. Um, anyway. I wanted to go back and look. There was a couple of videos when they pulled it on that you could see how high they went and how it wrapped. So, yeah, I may do that. But it is what it is. I'm working on it. Oh! I am not... I don't know. This whole weekend, I worked, cleaned up the house on Saturday. I slept till Sunday, till noon. And didn't do a whole lot but cut squares on Sunday. Um, I only got dressed to run to town to get soap so I could shower. That's for daddy. Um, but I uh, am in this funk where I just feel like I spend all weekend getting ready for the next work week. I meal prep so that I don't have to cook when I get home. Um, I do all my laundry up so that I'll have clothes to wear for the week. I straighten up my bedroom so that I don't have to clean on the nights that I get home. So I get everything put away. <sighs> I normally clean up the office here so that roommate can have the office back. And it's not a sewing room. <laughs> which It turns into a sewing room on the weekend. But it just feels like I'm working. So I think... I am going to try and take some time off. I have um, some paid time leave, and I think I'm going to take it because I'm just burning out, I think. That's just me. So um, I'm going to try and take that. I don't know when. Look, It's looking like I also have to get my dentist appointment in. So hey. uh, it's looking like it's going to be in October before I can take it. But I'm going to try and hook two days on to a couple of weekends and have some four-day weekends. So, yeah. Um, and then, I don't know. i got to do my dentist appointment. <sighs> and I'm thinking that two four-day weekends, you know, would be better than nothing. But I don't know if it's better to take a whole week or if I just won't want to go back. After a week being off. So. I don't know. Anyway. But I'm getting this work done. And I've literally sat at night. And worked on that a lot. Um, and then cutting the squares. For the quilt. 
I'm interested to see how I quilt it because I don't know that I'm going to be able to quilt it on my little machine here. Um, I may hand quilt around the eight inch squares and then do the old fashioned tie thing with yarn and tie it in there. But I don't know. I don't know what I'm going to do yet. I don't know anybody with a long arm. I don't know what it would cost to get it long armed so that all I have to do is put the binding on it. I don't know. Just don't know. So we're going to see. That's all I can say. All right. I do have to go get ready for work. I'm putting it off. I don't want to really go. Woke up this morning. Ah. And it was only Tuesday. Hmm. I was kind of hoping it would be Wednesday or Thursday. I don't know. <laughs> so anyway, all right, I'm off here. I will talk to y'all later and I hope you have an amazing week. God bless. Thanks for watching.